RRS of solutions in Melody, right? So make sure whenever you are creating any ledger in the in the ledger creation page, just press F12. So make sure before any before enabling this feature, it is not asking any email ID that belongs to RRS soft solution. By default, the system is not asking you to update the RRS soft solutions email ID. So in the same ledger creation page, press F12 and you need to activate the feature is called as provide contact details. Yes. What is the feature called as provide contact details? Yes. From this page, you just press F12 and enable the feature called as provide contact details. Yes. And if you enable this feature, and press just accept the same. If you enable the feature at down to the state, it is asking you to confirm that RRS software solutions email ID. So whenever I am creating the ledger, by default it is not asking any details to enter the contact details. So in the same ledger creation page, press F12 and enable provide contact details. Yes, if you enable the feature, you may access these facilities. So in the place of email, I am going to confirm that RRS soft solution that belongs to my party email ID right so now here whenever I am creating the ledger in the name of RRS the soft solution I am updating the party email ID as RRS the soft solutions at gmail.com next I am creating other party in the name of Mr. Kumar and whenever I am creating Mr. Kumar ledger I am not updating Kumar's email ID we will see what happens in the future right so I just updated Mr. Kumar without updating email ID, right? So I just created totally two ledger. One is RRS soft solution by updating email ID and Mr. Kumar by not updating the email ID, right? So next, now here I'm going to record uh, sales invoices. Now here I'm passing a sales invoice in the name of uh, RRS soft solution by salt plus C for shortcut creation, sales sales account, and I'm, I'm also going to create a product name. For example, item number one, enter measurement of numbers. So now here I am creating the oh, sales, sales invoice in the name of uh, RRS of solution. Just assume that we are selling a 10 number of quantity at the rate of 100 rupees, right? So now here I just created a voucher in the name of RRS soft solution. I am just saving this voucher. Now also I am creating another voucher in the name of Mr. Kumar. So for Kumar, I am creating same item, we are selling other 10 number with the rate of 100 rupees. Yes. So I just created totally two sales invoices. Now here I just want to mail these invoices to the respective parties. Then how did you mail it? It's very simple. Just go to just go to display a dbook. I am opening the total two invoices. Now here I am opening RRS, RRS soft solutions email ID. Sorry. Now here I am opening. Now here I am opening RRS sub solution invoice, just press enter. So this is RRS sub solution invoice. Now I just want to mail this report to the party. So very simple, just press from this report, I am pressing Alt plus M. Alt plus M for mailing, right? Alt plus M for mail. So from the report location, just press Alt plus M. Now whenever I press R plus M by default it is auto confirmed the RRS sub solutions at gmail.com. So because whenever I am creating the ledger in the name of RRS sub solution we already updated RRS sub solutions respect to email address. So you see when, when so at the time of ledger creation if you update the parties email ID in the future you don't need to confirm you don't need to reconfirm each and every time just you just update the parties email ID on the time of ledger creation and that will be used for further next now here I'm opening the ledger in the name of I'm opening the uh, Kumar invoice now here I'm pressing R plus M now here can the other day it is showing the two email address as blank because whenever I'm creating Kumar ledger I have not updated so it is not it is it is mandatory to confirm as manually right so it's very simple so now we are going to do a practical session so very simple from not only sales invoice or purchase invoice from anywhere in tele application if you want to make a report just press alt plus m from the report location now here i'm opening a balance sheet and press alt m or even open i'm opening again go to display and the day book. I'm opening the same invoice in the name of RRS soft solution. I've just opened invoice, then I'm pressing Alt plus M. Yes. Now 
you need now here we have not declared our email id our password right so first you need to click on no i don't want to mail directly in this manner i just want to write 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 some subject i just want to add, attach some description so i just I, do, I just don't want to send a blank email id so first you need to click on no after pressing i here i'm clicking on no yeah next it is asking you which server we are using to forward the mail just you don't worry we are using the mail server that is gmail just press enter so if you select a gmail automatically the G, uh, gmail configuration has been auto captured you don't you don't touch this facilities next just come down it is asking that from email id oh sorry it, now it is asking about from okay who is delivering these mails what is the form name the form name is vedanta educational academy next we are going to confirm that our email id make sure you need to confirm the right and active email id along with a password right so i am going to confirm the email id vedanta educational academy is my email id so i just confirm the email id so my email id is vedanta educational academy at gmail.com so whatever email id that you are going to confirm in the place of from email id whatever email id that you are going to confirm in the place of from email id the same you need to repeat the same email id in the place of user name also vedanta educational academy at gmail.com the both in the place of from email id and username for authentication should be equal then only the mail will get delivered from email id and the name which we are using to log into the email id the both are equal yes from email id is vedanta education academy at gmail.com and the same you need to repeat the same in username for authentication also same vedanta educational academy next you need to confirm the current and active password i'm going to confirm even the password as well and now after what's confirming the password it is asking about in which format you would like to mail the report yes i would like to see most probably used to mail the reports in, in pdf format next the size what is the size a4 size next it is asking you to come because we we just opened a rrs soft solution sales invoice so by default it is auto captured rrs soft solutions email id next i'm going to confirm the same so just uh, cc corporate copy no i don't want to do attach any other file and the bcc blind corporate copy i don't want to add any uh, any other email id next subject what is that subject in the place of subject i'm going to write invoice from vedanta invoice from vedanta next what is email message the description okay so please kindly find attached document so whatever that you want to update see in the place of description you need to write that about this email so just write whatever that you wish to write we are attaching so just please find attachment next now now it is asking about what is attached file name so now we are mailing a report from your tally application to your counterparty email id right from tally application you are mailing to your counterparty email id so what is the file name what is the what is that attached file name it is showing something okay just accept and make sure before mailing this report first i will show what is my last sent message so i will open my google chrome now make sure still i have not click on enter before that i just wanted to show you what is my last out box in my set box i just open my set box so first you just find out what is my last message now still it is on live we have not we have not entered we have not pressed enter so first i am we are going to open the last email id now see the last email id we have just opening my last i am i am just opening my set box in my set box you may find out that my last mail uh, i just we just delivered a mail on may 20th and now today we have on 21st of may so the last email is may on may 20th that we delivered to a tally solutions private limited we delivered a last mail last hour we delivered a last mail to the tally company in the, in the name of tally solutions private limited right so now we are mailing a report from tally application to rrs sub solution right so in my sent box the last email id is delivered to talent solution private limited that to on may 20th now today we are on 21st of may so now i'm clicking, simply i'm clicking on yes so now here when you press enter within second the mail will be delivered to your counterparty 
If, so now in this screen, if there is any errors that shows in, in this location, if it is not showing any error, that means the mail has been successfully delivered. First, I will show in my center box, then after that, I will show my counterparty inbox also. So now here I am opening my email ID. You may see that about to, about to tally solution from limited, the new mail has been introduced that is in the name of RRS sub solution the two are. 243 means the today today 243 right so this is how we use the mailing system from tally application now it is also recorded in my set box and that will be stored in my counterparty inbox also so i'm going to log in with the counterparty i'm going to log in with the same rrs sub solution at gmail.com i'm going to confirm the password as well the mail mail is being uh, logged in so now here i'm going to log in with my counterparty email ID. Now we'll just see is it stored in inbox or not. Now we'll just check out in the counterparty inbox. See in Vedanta Academy it is showing in center box. We'll just check out in the counterparty inbox is it stored or not. Is it delivered to counterparty or not? Yes, we got it exactly. Now it is just received by the counterparty in the counterparty inbox. It is showing as Vedanta Educational Academy invoice from Vedanta. This is the subject that which we entered at the time of mailing the report from tally application so we use the facility of mailing in tally application and most important now in your email id we activated a feature called as less secure apps so make sure after using this facility it is better it is recommended to disable the feature so maybe it may be used by some other applications also right so it is not recommended to activate this feature always so i'm going to disable the feature so i'm going to my email id so after using these facilities just go to again settings again go to settings so it is not recommended to enable this feature for always whenever you need to use this facility just enable the feature and forward the bill then again it is better to it is recommended to disable the feature go to accounts and imports from here click on other google account settings down go to again settings now again come to down after accessing this facility you may it is better now the status is showing as on you just click on turn off access it is recommended to disable the feature it is not recommended to activate the feature always so just disable the feature so for your safety right thank you